Welcome back, guys. So, man, has it been amazing messing around with Motion Blue version 6. Recently released by David Marty. Link will be in the description so you can go peep it out. He has all the details. He has some follow-up videos on his base image. And I'm just here to say it's it's awesome. Very easy to use. If, you're, if you've put together images before for yourself or, or whatever, this thing is just awesome to work with with all the utilities and everything. But here today, we're not really going over all the special features and utilities of Motion Blue. What we're more gonna look at is just kind of some stuff that I threw together. 256 gigabyte goodness. Just to kind of showcase what you can do with this base image very easily. Um, this really just took some time but time not where I was sitting there doing much, just letting stuff transfer over. You know, I've got all my game lists, uh, you know, ROM packs and, and media and whatnot. So that part of it's pretty easy. But today I just want to kind of scroll through and show what I've added so you can kind of have a good idea what you can fit on 256 gigabytes. So this is on a micro SD card. This is not on any kind of flash drive or anything like that. Um, 256 gigabyte cards have been on some pretty good sales as of late. Um, SanDisk, you know, 120 at one point, I think it was closer to 100. Uh, Samsung's at $100. So the prices are getting a little better. Um, I'm sure we'll still see a lot more drops in prices coming soon, especially on those and the 400 gigabyte. As soon as that 400 gigabyte hits maybe 120 bucks, I'm on it. Seriously, that's that's where it's at. Those have been on sale too, but just they're still kind of pricey. But just here to showcase what I've been able to put on here. Um, right now, we only have 1.6, 1.7 gigabytes of space left. Uh, that might change because I might be using the utilities to remove media and whatnot for for games that aren't here because I've put. For almost all these systems, I put over the complete media packages, and there's only a handful of systems here that I'm not utilizing the full US release ROM sets. Uh, just systems that you just can't, you know, PlayStation, Dreamcast, stuff like that. Uh, and a few things I've just been messing around with. But to just kind of scroll through here, MAME, for example. I don't have a controller hooked up to this or set up just a keyboard. I don't ever set up a controller from the get-go. So this MAME, Liberetro MAME, 906 games. Pretty much um, all the artwork, everything's there. Video snaps, looking good, in my opinion. Final Burn Alpha, 1,517 solid games, solid games. I do have to go back through MAME because... I was using a new set that was provided to me, um, and I think there's still a handful of games on the main set that can't run on Raspberry Pi, but can run on PC. Um, just a handful, m maybe 10 tops, stuff like like Virtual Fighter, you know, things like that. So I'll probably have to go through and double check that I've removed those, because I typically don't want to keep stuff like that on here. It gets people's hopes up, you know what I'm saying? And then stuff like that, I do need to double check. Like this has the wrong, the wrong wheel and no video. So whatever that ROM is, I got to double check between this, uh, the game list and, and what the actual ROM is. But typically when I do that, I go through emulation station to kind of peep it out. But yeah, just a handful of things that I need to go back through. Typically when, when, I, when I have something like this going, I scroll through the list of games uh, and, and whatever I'm, you know, want the image to be focused more on this motion blue version six attract mode. That's what I care about. Emulation station. I, you know, I go through there and I'll remove games and do stuff like that. But as long as the artwork and everything is set in the game list for attract mode, I'm happy. So that's where the focus is on this. Daphne, we've got, I think, 11. Yes, 11 games. These are very big, so these do take up a lot of space. Atari 2600, we're sitting at 664, pretty nice. 
the Angry Video Game Nerd KO Boxing. So this is a homebrew. What? Nice. 5,200. 72 games. 7,800. Let's see what we got going on there. 58. And as you see, box art, video snaps, all the wheels are looking good. Looking real good. ColecoVision. What? We've got 140. Same thing, all the artwork. Looking looking snazzy. Vectrix should be like 20, 21. Yeah, that's typical. Very typical. And television. 137. PC Engine. It's going to, you know, the complete PC Engine library. or pretty close to it, I think. 271. I have to double check what the actual PC Engine library is. Might be more than that. I'm not 100%. Never looked at it. I do have a PC Engine, though. Love the PC Engine. There's a ton, actually, there's a ton of games for it. There's, so this might not be the full set. I'll have to double check, though. It might be close, but I'm not sure. PC Engine CD. 113 games. A lot of cool ones in here. A lot of stuff. Between PC Engine and PC Engine CD, just so much stuff we never got in America. And then the little failed Super Graphics with its little paltry five games. You know, but pretty sweet games, though. But definitely would suck, you know, if you... I mean, people still go after the Super Graphics, but... Imagine back in the day you bought a Super Graphics and, you know, there was only five games released for it. Yeah, it plays PC Engine games, but uh, I, I would be a little upset. Five games? What? Turbo Graphics 16 should be 94? Yeah. That's all we got in America. 94. A lot of really awesome games, though. Battle Royale. I'm going to have to play that. That looks interesting. Turbo Graphics CD. Some cool games there as well. We've got 46 games. Nintendo 64. This one, um, I only put it on here just to play around with. Because typically I go through and I only add like the games I know works. Like Mario 64, Mario Kart. Um, I'm pretty sure Banjo Kazooie works. And a nice handful of others, but this, you know, it doesn't take up a lot of space. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put them on here, and then at some point down the road, go through because there is, um, and I'll, I'll put a link out there. There is a spreadsheet with everything that works and issues with things that are kind of playable, stuff like that. So it's not a complete list. Not everything has been properly tested, but I do want to go back through that one day and utilize this image to kind of test everything. Like I said, it doesn't take a lot of space for the full library of Nintendo 64, so that's really the only reason I put it there. Just so I could play with it down the road. NES, or as some people like to say, NES. That's the last time you'll hear me say that, yo. Seriously. 852. Pretty awesome stuff. Love the Nintendo. Super Nintendo. 780. Famicom. There's a lot of cool games on Famicom. And as long as they're not role-playing games, if you don't understand Japanese, the games are fine for the most part. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these do have English translations on them. Um, so those specific ones that really, if they were in Japanese, you couldn't play them. Though, for the most part on this list, uh, they'll be translated but there's still some that aren't so just of note you got to look through but really cool games there's a lot of cool games i collect uh not really collect i don't like saying to you know collect but i do grab famicom games on actual cartridges for games i'm interested in you know what i'm saying especially the namcot stuff i love the little plastic box they came in famicom disc system also a lot of cool games on here as well Really cool stuff. And that's uh, 20... What was that? No, 70... 91. 91, my bad. And I didn't say what Famicom was. Famicom, I mean, you could probably kind of see it behind me. 386. Super Famicom. We are sitting on 440. 
a lot of solid games on the Famicom, a lot of uh, translated stuff on this list. Um, you know, some of this stuff is just, you know, might have been released in the U.S., but the, the translation was garbage. So a lot of times people went back and translated, you know, old school games, did the retranslation like Final Fantasy and stuff like that to give it a more proper translation. Uh, Neo Geo, we should be sitting at 140. Yep, 140. Beautiful. Love the Neo Geo. God. 32X, 33 games. Very small library of games. There's some cool gems in there. A uh, bunch of stinkers too, but hey, there is some cool stuff in the 32X. Sega CD, this one is a beast. Uh, we do have 169 Sega CD games. And these you know, CD-based games are massive, so just wanted to point that out. There is a ton of Sega CD here. Ton. Dreamcast, I don't know if I'm done with this yet. Um, we only have seven on here. I might be going back through uh, and reevaluating Dreamcast and what I want to do with it. Uh, because right now I've only put a handful of games that I want to mess with. Um, but there's still a lot of games that work, but there's a lot of games that just don't work on the Dreamcast. To me, if they stutter or, they're, you know, they're just, some people just deal with it. And to me, if it if it's not 99.9%, .9%, if not 100, I don't want to play it, so I won't even bother. But there is a lot of good Dreamcast stuff that does work, so I may be going back through that. Master System, 334. Bunch of awesome games in the Master System. Really. Sega Genesis. A lot of awesome stuff here, too, for you Sega fanboys. Or just fans. You don't have to be a fanboy. You can just like Sega. That's all right. So we do have 901. It looks like we do have some homebrew stuff here and there. But pretty cool stuff. A lot of awesome games. I think the Zombies Ate My Neighbors. It's good on the Genesis, but I, I just... With the real estate of the game screen being cropped because the map and everything is on the side, on that black bar, that kind of always bothered me because Super Nintendo is just full screen and all that information is just overlaid um, on top of the gameplay area. So I guess that's kind of up to your preference on which version you'd want to play, right? Japan Mega Drive, 194. There's some cool, interesting uh, exclusives as well for the uh, Japanese Genesis, if you want to call it that, even though it's Mega Drive in Japan. SG-1000. And there's a lot of systems on here. 62 games. PlayStation. This one I might be tweaking around with a little more. There's 84. Actually, I think there should be 85. One of my games is not showing up. Um, I got to go back through the game list. Pretty sure it's 85, but I might go through this. Let me see. Yeah, I'm I'm probably gonna go back through this because there's a handful of stuff I didn't wanna didn't wanna put on here. Mega Man Battle and Chase. That might be interesting. Hmm. Yeah, like these Men in Black games. I don't know how they got on there. Why I put them on there. <coughs> But yeah, like Pepsi Man's on here, but the game list's not showing it. So that's one. That's one game I know I put on here. I have to edit the uh, the game list, make sure I got the artwork on there as well. Atari Lynx. 75. Pretty cool. I had the Lynx back in the day. Wonder Swan. 110. You know, uh, Japanese stuff, but people are still interested. You know, some people like messing around with this stuff. Wonder Swan Color. 88, same thing, Japanese, but a lot of people do like messing with this. I've messed with it a little bit. Nintendo DS, 760. A lot of games on the DS. Lots. Pretty cool stuff. So this is just straight DS games, a lot of cool ones. Game & Watch, 52. Game Boy, 861. Game Boy Advance, we are at over 1,000, 1,066. I did not remove the uh, 
the double packs and all that stuff. I might go through and re-edit it, like this stuff. <coughs> um, is No, not these. These are actual games. I thought because the names were beside it that they were double packs, but there's a lot of double packs um, of games that were previously released individually. So some of those are going to be on here. I, I might go through and, and delete them uh, because it's kind of pointless. I mean... Guess it is what it is, right? Game Boy Color 535. Virtual Boy. Not very many games. 20. Sitting at 20 games here. Neo Geo Pocket. Oh, and I don't have Pocket Color activated in here, but Neo Geo Pocket Color is on here as well. Uh, and I believe that's like 30 or so games, something like that. Game Gear. 331. Love the game gear. Just didn't like the battery life. PSP minis. There's a bunch of these. 291. A lot of little hidden gems, little indie games in there. Apple II. I don't know if it's going to show up. No. It, it shows up in Emulation Station. I'll have to see if I can get it to show up properly in here. Uh, but Apple II is on here. Uh, and there's a nice handful of games. CPC, we're at 204, Atari 8-bit, not showing up either, I gotta check that one, but there is Atari 8-bit games on here, I gotta see if, you know, how they run, um, never really bothered with that, so not 100% with the emulator, uh, Commodore 64, 1,572, lot of games. The Magnavox Odyssey 2. 79 games. MSX. Pretty cool stuff. Interesting games. 547. MSX 2. 84. Sharp. See if this one shows up. Nope, but it's on there though. Emulation Station it shows up. I gotta double check and see um, how to get them to show up on here. Got to check some things. I know what to do, know what to look at, but got to double check on on it. You know what I'm saying? ZX Spectrum. 1,111. Damn. A lot of games. Infocom. Not showing up either. So got to double check those. But... That's where it's at right now. Um, the cool thing with Motion Blue, like this is just base. I haven't really tweaked with much else, but you can go through, change the wheel, change the themes, install different stuff. There's a lot of customization options for, you know, getting a tracked mode set up differently, looking sweet. I mean, it, it's crazy. Right now I'm just leaving it stock uh, for the most part. Just dropped my keyboard, sorry. Um, but there, there's just a ton that you can do with this. And I'll be exploring more of that in the future. I've already messed with it, but I just kind of like the look um, and the uniform, unified look of just motion blue without mixing up all the, the themes and stuff like that. But you can. You can make it your own, change it up, do what you want with it. Pretty awesome stuff. So right now, this this is 256 gigabytes. Like I said, a little under two gigs left, but I might be messing with some stuff. Uh, there's over 17,000 games on this thing. It's a ton of games, a ton. So right now, still got a little bit of stuff to mess with. Not a lot, but just wanted to share with you guys what I'm doing, what I'm working on. I think this will be pretty sweet to go through and just play games that I've never played before, test some stuff out on systems that I've never owned, um, and just have fun with that. You know what I mean? Mostly I like arcade stuff on, on RetroPie, but with this, I think it's going to be pretty sweet to play around with these systems. So appreciate you guys checking in. It's, this kind of went on a little longer than I expected, but hey, this is what it is. Appreciate it. Smash that like button, subscribe, do all that cool stuff. And with that said, guys, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.